So Honorable Moses Kuria was out of order, in my opinion. Duale says the Jubilee party has indicated it will be writing to the House over the MP's conduct, especially as he ushered in the new year, where he outrightly called out the president accusing him of neglecting the Mount Kenya region on matters development. We will not allow members of our party who the party has invested in them, who want seats because of our party, to demean the character and the institution of the presidency. Moses Kuria says the impending ouster does not bother him. In a conversation with NTV, Kuria said, I did not go to the people to campaign for vice chair of roads committee or to be a member of the budget committee. We serve at the pleasure of the party. They can remove me at any time as long as they follow the right procedure. I do not gain anything from serving in those committees. I only serve the people. I cannot be the loser in this situation. My record for wanting to help the country is clear and I am willing to pay the ultimate price for standing with my people. Which action we will take uh, will be an action that you will uh, maybe know when we, when, we, when we deal, when I talk to the party, Secretary General and the whips. Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa and Msambweni MP Suleiman Dori may face the same music as the ODM party has expressly said it no longer wants anything to do with them. The party has indicated it will be expelling them. At the House Business Committee, the NASA coalition has ejected Emuhaya MP Omboko Milemba and replaced him with nominated MP Godfrey Sotsi. Political parties that have large representation within parliament now say that the issue on discipline will be taken seriously as they will not allow any errant member to go against what the party believes. Kennedy Muraidi, NTV at Parliament.